In this video today, we're going to look at another wireless meeting room solution. Uh, this time it's from a company called Mersive, um, and the solution is, uh, the product is called Solstice. So we looked previously at the Barco ClickShare, the CX device. Um, this is very similar. It enables us to get to connect to a, to a screen in a meeting room, um, to a camera, microphone, speaker. Um, so everything we need to run, say, a Microsoft Teams call or a Zoom call, a WebEx call, um, in a meeting room from a laptop, um, but crucially to do it wirelessly. So we've got in the room here today, uh, we've got a screen. You can see the Solstice provides a, a lot of information on that screen in terms of what we need to do. So it's instructions to get us started. Um, it's actually very simple, um, but it's given us some information on there in terms of how to connect from a laptop uh, or an Apple device using AirPlay, um, Miracast from an Android phone or from a, you know, from a Windows laptop. Um, but what we're going to do is just take a look. We're specifically interested in doing this from a Windows device. So I've got a, um, this is a, a Surface Book, a Surface Book 2. Um, I've got the software, the Solstice software installed. So if we just take a quick look at what I actually need to do in the room. So at the moment, I'm not connected to the screen, um, but all I've got to do is walk into the room, fire up the, uh, the client software. I can see here, because I've connected to this room before, um, it's giving me a link to it. Now, if I just change my view, you can see that as soon as I've hit connect here, the screen has actually popped up with a key. So it's just a security mechanism. Um, so if I just type that into the client here, Okay, now, because I want to connect to my USB devices, I need to take this conference option and then just say, I'm going to start the meeting. If I just change my view so you can see the laptop and the screen in the room at the same time, um, you'll see it just takes a few seconds, but my laptop will be mirrored up onto the screen. So there we are. So now we've got the... Um, the laptop content shown in the room. And when I connected, say as well as connecting wirelessly to the screen, I should also now be connected to the um, to the Poly Studio. So let's go into Teams and take a look at that. So if I just go in and in Teams, let's just go to settings and then into my devices. Okay, and in here I can see that my audio device is now set to the uh, to the Polycom um, studio. My camera is set to the studio. The microphone is set. So this is great. I'm connected through to um, you know to the camera at the front of the room here. So again, if we just change our camera view and go back, let's um, let's just come out of settings, and then I'm in my Teams calendar. So let's just go to Meet Now, start a Teams meeting. And again, in my meeting pre-join here, I can see that I've got the correct camera. Um, it's telling me that my audio is set to the Polycom Studio Audio. Um, so this all looks good. So let's go ahead and join the meeting. Okay, and, uh, and it's as simple as that. So no dongle this time, um, you know, like I required with the, um, with the ClickShare. Um, when I'm finished, I can just leave my Teams meeting, go back to the uh, client, and then just simply disconnect from the client. And at this point, the, the room is ready for the next person to walk in, connect to the screen, connect to the camera in the same way. The Solstice product has an awful lot of functionality. Um, I'm just looking specifically at how I can connect to my USB devices wirelessly. Um, but a huge project, uh, product, very powerful, lots of functionality in there. 